This is Fizz2320 Computing 2 and this is um, a set of videos that constitutes the fourth part of the debugging um, set of videos. So in this video, these videos, we're going to look specifically at uh, some of the problems that you might encounter when you first start to use CurveFit and how you can try and solve and debug some of these problems. Um, so I'm going to be using this Jupyter Notebook um, as the basis of this video tutorial um, and I'll post a separate uh, tutorial up to show you how to go and use uh, Jupyter Notebooks, um, download and run them. Um, if you're a University of Leeds student, you'll be able to download this notebook from the Minerva um, website. Okay, so first of all we're just going to do some um, standard imports just to allow us to show plots in the notebook and then also import some numpy functions and most critically the scipy optimize curve fit function. So what we're going to be doing here is going to be looking at some data um, that we're going to load in from a file. You can get this file from uh, the URL given here on the Fizz2320 module website um, and uh, that's the, the data we're actually going to be working with. So um, first thing we're going to do then obviously is read that data in um, and go and have a quick look at what we've got there. Okay, so when I read it in and look at it, I see I've got 2001 rows and three columns and it's full of floating point numbers. So that, that's all good. Um, what we're going to go and do is we're going to use the first column of data for our X data. I'm going to use the second column of data at the moment for some Y data. Um, we'll come to the third column later. So we're just going to um, set up our X and Y arrays and then we'll go and plot that data and just see what we've got. Okay, so there we go. Um, it shows a nice pink data. Um, from the name of the file and from looking at the data you might well guess that this is a um, sync function. It's actually a sync squared function. Um, so sync is a function that's basically sine theta over theta. Um, and sync squared is the sort of intensity pattern you get from diffraction through a single slit. So this might, for example, represent um, some form of uh, diffraction pattern of some wave passing through a single slit, for example. Okay, so um, if we want to go and extract the fitting parameters from this, we'd need to write a fitting function um, and then throw it at curve fit. Okay, so we'll write a a fitting function takes a couple of parameters um, and does a calculation. Um, as with all the um, functions you end up using in SciPy, the first parameter of your function is the um, independent variable, the x values, and then after that come um, fitting parameters. So we define the function and then we go and throw it at curve fit. And when we do that, something goes wrong. Okay, so we look at this and um, down the bottom it tells us the problem was it had a value error. Uh, it said the array must not contain um, uh, not a numbers. Uh, NAN is uh, not a number. So that means there's something a bit weird with our data. So the first set of problems we have to go and solve are making sure that the data we have is what we think it is uh, and that it's in a good form for passing into CurveFit. Okay, so we got some not a numbers. Um, it's most likely that not a number is probably in the Y column but we can go and have a look for it. Um, so here I'm importing um, is NAN from NumPy and I'm going to use that to see if any of the Y values or the X values is uh, not a number. And sure enough it comes up and tells us that there's a, there is a not a number in the Y data. So we need to get rid of that data because we can't use it for curve fitting. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the fact that the isNAN function is going to return an array of trues and falses. So it's going to return true if the um, value, um, uh, that given that particular value is not a number and false if it's okay. Um, that's the wrong way round for what we want. We want to find out uh, all the things that are numbers. Um, and so we make use of the, the tilde to invert the sense of the isNAN function. Um, so we get an array then of, which is mainly trues with a few falses where we have not a numbers. 
And then we're going to play a trick. We're going to make use of the fact that if you index an array with an array of true and falses, it'll pick out just the elements where the true or false array is true. So when we go and do that, what we do here is we're going to pull out all the x elements where um, x is in fact a number. And we see we're going to do that. In fact, we bring it down to 2,000 elements in the array. And we can pull out the corresponding y values um, and, in fact, the complete rows in the data set like this. Um, and so we do it. So this takes us through the first step you want to go and take when you're debugging um, curve fit, when you think you have a problem. And your first step is to say, have I got the right data? So things you want to check is, um, is it the right length you're expecting? Um, so for example, have you accidentally indexed a row where you meant to index a column? Um, it's easy enough done and it's an easy one to go and check for. The next thing you might want to check is do you have some not a number values in there? Um, and if so, you need to get rid of them. Um, then you want to also do a check to make sure that the X and the Y data you're going to feed into CurveFit are in fact the same length. Um, and then finally, check that they are the right dimensions. So for CurveFit to work, the X data has to be a one-dimensional array, and probably you want the Y data to be a one-dimensional array. It doesn't strictly have to be, but it's normally going to be the case that's going to want to be. So you want to check that the um, shape of the X and the Y data is what you were expecting. OK, so that's the first stage then. Um, of sorting out how to debug curve fed.